don't understand that when they commit sin, there's something they lose. And because they don't know that they lose certain things, they, they see sin as a way of life. continue with life. You don't just continue with life. I've taught you from day one that any time the devil sees that God wants to bring a peculiar opportunity to you, he wants to open an unusual door, he will set a trap of sin in front of you to make you sin and lose out in the plan of God for your life. So let's start with 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 14. You know, usually we stand up to read the first Bible passage. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 14. Let's all be on our feet as we are going to read together. 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 14. Now, those of you at the media, you must be very fast with this. That's the father of the baby that we are looking for. The man that has not seen his baby, but I've posted it on WhatsApp. <laughs> That's the father of the baby. You know, in our church, we are building, by the grace of God, fathers. So don't worry, in the next two, three years, he must have grown to a point where he will understand. <laughs> Let's read together after the count of three. One... Two, and let me have my monitor. Three. Let's go. Now, the spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord fomented him. Now, in case you don't understand, let me clear something. God does not have an evil spirit. Now, what this scripture actually means is that an evil spirit with God's permission entered Saul when the spirit of God departed from him. So listen, no man is without a spirit. Everybody must carry something. Hallelujah. Be seated in his presence. Hallelujah. Beloved, when man deliberately allows himself to fall, from te to fall into temptation, hear me, it is the spirit of God that will depart from his life. Now, if you deliberately go into sinning, which means, I know I told you last week, falling into temptation, it means that you're going into sin. Now, when you deliberately go into sin, the first thing you stand to lose is the presence of God upon your life. Now, 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 the moment man goes into sin, you will see that the Spirit of God that was dwelling inside of him, that's the Holy Spirit, will leave him. Now, and instantly, the Spirit of God leaves that person, the Spirit of the devil will come into that person's life. Now, that's why most times, people don't know when they backslide, when they fall away from the way of salvation, nothing physically will change at times. He will still be praying. He will still be speaking in tongues. He could even still be preaching on the altar or be singing powerfully in the choir. But listen, the Spirit of God does not announce the time it is going. It is when you want to receive the Spirit of God, you fall under the power of the anointing, you begin to speak in tongues, you know, you manifest. But when the Spirit of God departs, it departs silently. That's why, see, this thing that was documented here Nobody knew that the Spirit of God left Saul. Nobody knew. He was still king over Israel. That's why you must not go into sin. I will show you so many things as we go on this morning. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. The Spirit of God is the Holy Spirit. It does not stay in a sinful vessel. It doesn't stay in sin. That's why we used to encourage you as a child of God, don't go into sin. The Holy Spirit cannot dwell in a person that is consciously living a sinful life. Even, let, let that person be speaking in tongues. The Holy Spirit is not there. Because I will show you as we go on in our teaching, you don't use the gift of God to judge if God's presence is with you. The Holy Spirit does not stay in a sinful place. Listen. I wrote here, uh, um, 
Let me read on. The Spirit of God is the Holy Spirit that it does not say the same. We must never forget that it is the presence of the Holy Spirit that makes three things to happen in our life. Now, when the Holy Ghost is in your life, three things will happen. What's number one? When the Holy Ghost is in your life, it's a clear sign that you belong to God. Now, the Holy Spirit is the seal of God's ownership in our life. And it's you, but let me monu, kuba fede for dollar, tikwe badu kulilo, turiku jeti olono. Now, the Holy Spirit is God's seal. Let's confirm more of that in the scriptures. We have a lot of Bible reading today. Go to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. And we're also going to read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. Ephesians 1, 13 says, In whom you are trusted, after that you, you had the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after you, you were blessed. Sorry? In whom after that you, you believed, you were sealed. Look at that. You were sealed. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Ghost is upon you, it's a sign that this one belongs to God. How do we know that everyone that belongs to God, it is the Holy Ghost in that person? Look at the scripture. And you also were included in Christ. And when you add the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having believed, you were what? You were marked in him with a seal. And what is that seal? The promised Holy Spirit. Can you see that the Holy Spirit is the mark of God upon your life? The mark of God upon your life is not the tongues you are speaking. The mark of God upon your life is not the gifts. Because this generation are easily carried away by gifts. Beloved, the person that prophesied to me and confirmed that God called me was a drunkard. He looked at me, I was going on the road. I was going on the road and he said, ah. Arakuri, young man, come. And I went to him. He said, God said he has called you. And that you should not be discouraged. And that time I was going through terrible times. He told me what I was going through. He told me what God had told me. But he was a drunkard. Does that mean that he belongs to God? He doesn't belong to God. The same way the donkey of Naaman, not Naaman, of Balaam. What did the donkey of Balaam do? The donkey prophesied. But will the donkey make heaven? No! The Holy Spirit is God's seal. That's why you must not do anything as a child of God that will make the Holy Spirit to live your life. And the only thing that can make the Holy Spirit to live your life is sin. But you see, let me see here. If you don't have the Holy Ghost upon you, there's no mark of God's ownership over your life. If you understand land document. You will see that when you go to do survey, a surveyor will come. What will you come and do? He will come and measure your land. And he will put the measurement on paper. Take it to the government, they will stamp it. If somebody now build on your land, maybe even if it is one foot, he just build like this. You can challenge the person to cut by what? By the seal that you have. Am I communicating? Now, you belong to God. You are born again. The Holy Ghost is inside of you. You can use it as a seal to challenge the devil that is attacking your life. So the Holy Ghost upon us is the seal of God's ownership over our lives. Can we confirm it more? Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30. It says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, which, sorry, whereby you were sealed unto the day of redemption. Grieve not, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for what? For the day of redemption. So that's the first truth you should know about the Holy Ghost. Second thing you should know about the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The presence of the Holy Ghost in us makes us extraordinary humans that the devil and his agents will be afraid of. The presence of the Holy Ghost in us makes us extraordinary humans that the devil and his agents will be afraid of. How do I know? First John chapter 4 verse 4. Now it is the presence of the Holy Ghost that makes the devil afraid of us. The presence of the Holy Ghost. So when the devil sees the Holy Ghost seated upon you, a back, ah, any child of God that has the Holy Ghost in him, the devil cannot touch him. That's why I used to wonder when some Christians would be saying, sir, 
Sir, sir, let me say the way they say it in Yoruba. One time, love her. Ko ye kofa ba ite mamba wambe. It's a wrong thing for a child of God to be saying. In fact, some pastors even come to say it now. They'll come to the altar. They say, "A party administration and satanic death, Tamil of Asha. Ah, ah. Error, ni. No arrow is supposed to reach you with the Holy Ghost sitting in you. Show me 1 John 4 4. Let's look at it together. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4. Look at it. He said, You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them. Because why? Because the one who is in you is what? Is greater than the one who is in the world. So the presence of the Holy Ghost in you, it makes you stronger. It is not our calling, we pastors, that makes us strong. If you two have the Holy Ghost in you, hear me, witches in your house will be afraid of you. If you have the Holy Ghost in you, all the wizards in your area will be afraid. This one that children of God will say, I want to pack out of that house because there is a witch in our house. Ah! It means that you have sinned. The Holy Ghost have left, so you are empty. You know, with the Holy Ghost in us, the Bible says, let no weapon formed or fashion against us prosper. Which is often here now. We finished service one day. A young brother came to he put a charm in his hand. Because I didn't know. But it by it backfire on him. He had chicken pots from head to toe and he came to see me. A pastor, one thing by Jehovah, they say if I don't confess, I'm going to die. Please forgive me. This is what I did against you. It is the Holy Ghost in you. That's why you must not allow sin. The devil is introducing sin so that the Holy Spirit will live your life. And when the Holy Ghost lives your life, what do you become? You become ordinary human. Ordinary human being. Now let me give you a clearer uh, illustration. A clearer illustration. Listen. When the president of our nation enters a car, what happens to the car? The car becomes extremely protected. DSS will be there. Police officers will be there. Mopo will be there. Military men will be there. Surrounding the car because of the person inside. When the Holy Ghost is inside of you, angels will protect you. Hallelujah. Look at the third one. The Holy Ghost in us will manifest great spiritual fruits and gifts. A mimimo toba wa noa ulmanje kafi a buen mimo. There's there's some that's what we call the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, let's look at those gifts. There are two things. So, gifts and fruit is so attainable. Where you have the Holy Ghost in you. Let's look at the gifts first. Go to the scriptures. Please show me 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 7 to verse 10. With the Holy Ghost in you, you begin to see the manifestations of these gifts. Now I read. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. Go on. To one, there is given through the Spirit the message of wisdom. What is the message of wisdom? They call it, some versions we call it word of wisdom. The person will begin to manifest deep insight. Toba sorrow, I want to read. You know, there are some people when they talk, you say this one is a fool. Abi? But if you see people with the gift of the spirit, this is one of the gifts of the spirit that will manifest the word of wisdom. When they say anything, the way the person will understand it will be so different. So by the time he speaks, ah, ah, people will say there is wisdom in you. It's a gift of the spirit. This is one of the things you stand to enjoy when you have the Holy Ghost in you. The gift of the Spirit is called the gift of wisdom. The, the word of wisdom. Now, you now talk about the second one. You talk about another one. There are nine in number. He said, where am I? To another, the, the message of knowledge. What's the word of knowledge? The word of knowledge is this. Look at, look at me, church. For instance, the person is not a prophet, but he just knows things. He didn't know that when he's only at rise. But he, as he wants to begin, God begins to reveal things to him. There's somebody here, you got so so and so dream yesterday. And you say, hey, were you there? It does not mean you are a pastor. Now, under this word of knowledge, you see some people, they are gifted even in having dreams. It does not mean you are called. When things are done, the Holy Spirit will show him. 
And when he speaks, he'll be speaking as if he was there when the meeting was had. It's one of the gifts of the Spirit. Now, let's go on. Let's go on. I'm going somewhere. He said to another, where, it means, where am I? By the same Spirit. Verse 9. He said to another, faith. Now, there's normal faith. There's what we call a gift of faith. That's special faith. That's why you see some people, let them be going through the mountains. They are not moved. It's also a gift of the Spirit. He said, by the same Spirit. To another, the gift of healing. Can you see that somebody will be sick, they can pray for the person, and the person will be healed. It's one of the fruits, I mean, the gifts of the Spirit of God that will manifest in your life when you have the Holy Ghost in you. Then we have the next one. Let's go. Let's go fast. We don't have all the time. He said to another, miracles. Miraculous power. To another, prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, the speaking in different kind of tongues. And to still another, the interpretation of tongues. Can you see? All these gifts are the gifts of the Spirit. You can ask for it in your place of prayer. That, Lord, I'm asking for the power to work miracles. Sherry, I want to my lebuin. Any child of God can manifest these gifts as, a, as long as the Holy Ghost is in you. Am I communicating? So if God is using you to heal the sick, God is using you to perform miracles, God is using you to do wonders, it does not mean you should go and set up a church. It does not mean God has called you. The people begin to say, ah, 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 ah. Ah, anytime see dickness, I'll let everybody pray by alone man she ya no. Ah, alone man wa your soul. So the next thing, what will dickness I'll let do? You just go up and say, uh, I'll let uh, healing international church. <laughs> Hello, Sherry Ipe, Kusilara e Mimimo. Am I communicating? We're in a school. Gift. I mean, calling is not part of the gift of the Spirit. The gift of the Holy Spirit, they are nine in number. It's to manifest in the life of any child of God that is living rightly. Now, number two, apart from the gift of the Holy Spirit, we are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. Follow me. There's also what we call the fruit of the Spirit. I want a so toma farahon. Mesonon la wono. Let's look at these fruits of the spirit. Galatians. Galatians chapter 5, 22 and 23. Let's look at them together. It says, but the fruits of the Spirit. How do you know a mango tree? You see mangoes on it. How do you know an orange tree? You see orange. In fact, orange, tangerine, and the lemon, their trees are the same. They look alike. But how do you know the difference when their fruits begin to come? He said, but the fruit of the Spirit is what? I didn't hear you. No. I didn't hear you. No. Now, which means that if the Holy Ghost is inside of you, whether you like it or not, you will want to care for others. It will be difficult for you to keep malice. Now, let me mama. Because ko say ko e so e fe to je number one e so to ma fi hon kwe a a e mom ben nwe it's no longer showing the, the fruit of love is not showing in your life it's a clear sign that Holy Ghost have gone and like I told you when I started if the Holy Ghost should leave your life if the trumpet should sound if rapture should take place you are not going anywhere because it is the Holy Ghost in us that makes us rapturable the fruit of love he said the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Number one is love. People that have the Holy Spirit in them find it difficult to hate people. Even when people offend them, they will feel the pain. But after a while, the love in them will not allow them to hate. Because I wonder why there are Christians. You know there are Christians that are so hateful to the point that 
You know, somebody was telling me some days ago, he said, I went into a 72 hours marathon prayer to curse somebody. That he did VG in 72 hours marathon prayer in our church. He said she was doing like this. Ah, like that. Ah, like that. Ah, like that. Ah, child of God. Oh, I can hear you. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, yeah, in software. If Holy Ghost is not in you, your prayers cannot be answered. Because you don't belong to God. So, what's the first fruit you see? The fruit of love. Then it goes to the second one. The fruit of the Spirit is what? Joy. People that have the Holy Spirit, whether they have money or not, their joy is not based on any material thing. There will be something from within. That's why we always say, there is something that makes me come into your presence, my hell. None of us know that something. But it's just from within. Joy. When the Holy Ghost leaves, how do you know? You will no longer have that joy. I will still tell you when I go. Let me not rush. Then look at another fruit of the Holy Spirit. You will notice calm, peace. They just have this inner peace. There's this kind of peace in their mind. Let, let, let the house be burning. There's this peace of mind that the Holy Ghost gives. It's part of the fruits of the Spirit. Then it talks about the fruit of patience. It talks about kindness. It talks about goodness. It talks about faithfulness. I'm rushing. Next verse, verse 23. Verse 23, Leba Satayagada. Gentleness, that's what we call self control. Now, I love this self control. Now, anyone with the Holy Ghost will be able to tell himself no when he's supposed to say no. Against such things, there is no, no law. So, look at this. The Holy Ghost comes with two things. What's the first one? Fruits. What's the second one? Gifts. Now, what's the question I want to ask that is making you to teach you this? Making me to teach you this. When God's presence departs from the life of the believer that falls into temptation, the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit departs from him. Sorry, sorry, I missed something. When God's presence departs from the life of the believer that fell into temptation, will the gifts and the fruit of the Holy Spirit depart from his life too. Look up. Now, see me alone about that baby. We are talking about what they share. Oh, should be seen on the whole. Question to have down. Okay. She and when I boom. I see a swear. My mama. Oh, my cool. No, I yet. I'm about to clone. Answer me. Three people. How many know? How many years? Be bold. Don't say no. Nah. You don't want me to know you. How many of you have for the nose? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. She yes, lady. Thirteen. Fourteen. Now, I'm here for the yes, yes, yes. The Holy Ghost will depart with his gifts and fruits. How many of you? Uh, some of you are even not, you are okay, you don't have answer. Okay, let me answer you. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see. Now, let's go on. The answer is clear. The fruits that shows that you have the Holy Spirit in your life will gradually begin to fade away. But the fruits will remain, the, the, the gift will remain. So, oh my Lord, a boom, my duro, a jekaw, we are going to see. We are going to see. We are going to see. I, I hope that time will permit us. Romans chapter 11, verse 29. Romans chapter 11, and Verse 29. Put it on screen. I want everybody to see it. Shagada basket. Let's read together after the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's go again now. Ah. 
Now, take it from the NLT Bible. Let's look at NLT Bible. Thank you. For God's gifts and his call can never be withdrawn. Now, don't forget that fruits are not gifts. Hello? Which one is this? Amplified. Oh, God. He said, for God's gifts and his call are irrevocable. He never withdraws them when once they are given. And he does not change his mind about those to whom he gives his grace or to whom he sends his call. Now, what does this mean? It shows that even after T, where a person must have backslided, the gift and the calling of God will not be withdrawn. That's why you see that when Saul backslided, the spirit of God left, he was still king. The spirit of the devil came into him. He, he was still king. Now, that's why it is dangerous as a child of God. You don't weigh your relationship with God by your gifts. You didn't hear me. You don't weigh your relationship with God by your gifts. Imagine somebody saying, Father, in the name of Joe, get the, get the, get the, get the, get Yes, a me at your lawn at Joshua Udomor. Somebody say, Sister, patient lawyer, Emma Ba Uluri Paddy, one for you, one million. And the second service, the person came, Praise the Lord, last week Sunday, Papa Sofu Mikwe, Mimoshin lawyer, ah, Mabulure Paddy, one for me, one million. It's part of the gifts. Mode Baulure Paddy, one for me, one million. It is not. A sign that God is with Papa. Hello? Because God does not withdraw his gifts. God does not withdraw his calls. What now happens when that person backslides? The Holy Spirit will leave, the devil will come in and continue to use that gift. That's why you'll see somebody will stand up from fornication. Omar, Baya, Wonia, Wosu. Oma sheshi agberi. Ade to jadewa, ade to professor, ade ribe. Eri enyon, togba enyon. Ofi, ofi, ogbo, iro, ofi, gogolo wa mwenyon. Ade to jade, ade to so asotele, ba ini kodeli, oma ribe. Olor huki, da ikpe pada. Onlo she lewu, koma oni bak boko ma fi ikpe, lati ma fi wukwe. Ani at your she done. In Ashi Malala, in Ashi Marino, Ashi Maso Asatele, Atuma Bishay, Yanushesa. But me alone see that very funny. That's why I say, child of God, please, I'm begging you. You know, don't, you, some of you say, I've gotten to the point. If they say, Sister Yomine, sir. Come and lead us powerfully in praise. And you come up, you carry the microphone, you lead, and everybody's falling under the anointing. Come in, lead the praise. Ah! And do you know that? Look up. That is the confusion of the end time. That's why Jesus said, many will come to me on the last day. They will say, Master, Master, did we not cast out devils in your name? Did we not heal the sick in your name? He said, I will say to them, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Look at the last statement. I knew you not. Some versions say, I never knew you. Ah, eh, hey, mommy, like it's more machine here. Open your eyes. May the Spirit of God not depart from our lives. Amen. Say your amen very well. Amen. I wrote here, this is why it is dangerous to use the gift of, of the Spirit as a measuring scale to judge if God is still with you. 
I wrote here below. Such a person will manifest all the gifts. He will speak in tongues. He will even interpret tongues. He will heal and even give word of wisdom and knowledge without the presence of God in his life. It shouldn't surprise you at all. The magicians of Pharaoh turned rod to snake like Moses. The woman with the familiar spirit was able to call out the spirit of prophet Samuel from the dead. Stop using the scale of spiritual gift to check your spiritual weight. If you use it, you will think you are still right with God. But how will you now know if God's presence has left? That is why I wrote here, Amen? Amen? The fruit of the Holy Spirit in the person's life will gradually begin to fade away. The reason is because when the Holy Spirit leaves the human flesh, sorry, when the Holy Spirit leaves, the human flesh takes over. The loving believer will gradually become selfish believer. Because the things he was doing before, by the influence of the Spirit, he will not be able to do it again. That's why it is the fruits that will begin to fade. You, people will now begin to be shocked. Ah, ah, Brother Lagwaja can be no tele. Brother Tamedu, so care in tele. Sister so and so, so gentle to tele. You know, people begin to see the opposite of those fruits. Because the spirit of God that influenced him or her to live that way has left. So, as a child of God, how do you weigh yourself to see if you are still right with God? Weigh yourself on the scale of the fruit of the spirit. You know, at times, when people offend me and I feel so bad, oh, like that shame me, binu binu kin fara, the Bible says, love your enemies. Pray for them that despise fully use you. In fact, another verse says, if you give gifts to those that are giving back to you, what favor have you done? He said, give to those that cannot even give back to you. <sighs> Lord, I cannot, I, cannot, I cannot hit this person. I cannot keep my list. Ah, oh, they share me, oh. Because I want to respond to the leading of the Holy Spirit, I will forgive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, the Christian that used to have self-control before, by the influence of the Holy Spirit, will now not be able to control himself again. You see that he will begin to dance to the movement of the flesh. That was what happened to Saul. Because he sinned against God. He fell into temptation. The spirit of God left. Saul now became a person that started to envy David. To the point of looking for how to kill David. Saul. He became so angry that he wanted to kill his son Jonathan for supporting David. Can you see that the, the fruits started getting out of his life? That's why you to examine yourself. Are those fruits of the Spirit still manifesting? We'll go back to those fruits. That's where we summarize on. I wrote in my note. The, the human flesh takes over. You will now see that the loving, you know, the first fruit of the Spirit is love. The loving believer will now become the selfish believer. And you know that love is concerned for others. So you now see that the loving Christian will no longer be loving. The loving Christian will now become selfish. It's me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. Look at the next one. The joyful believer will begin to lose the real joy of the Lord and begin to have occasional joy Joy that are based on natural things of life. 
Christian to Jackie, be a woo at a lay, she worry. If I told my mother, be no banjo, any at a legis, Bojo Barro, any at a legis, be no banjo, Bojo Romatele, Duro de me, Jesu, King Tele or Dope me. You now change. All I know, you're always there for me. Almighty God, Almighty God, you are my all in all. No matter what I face, but when success comes my way, that's the condition. I will praise your name. Can you see? You know, before, when there's no money, there's, there's this joy of Christ. You saw, even when there's nothing to it, you are happy. That's the fruit of the Spirit. But when you've backslidden, you begin to nag. Any small thing will get you, you feel frustrated. You even think of, I'm just tired of this life. I'm just tired of this Jesus. Could you pick in your telechristy? Look at the next one. After, after joy, you see that the next fruit of the Spirit is peace. The peaceful believer will now begin to not worry. He becomes anxious. You know, that's why at times I laugh. When I see some of us, we are so anxious. When we were trusting God in our marriage for fruit of the womb, we didn't go anywhere. Because God told me that I will have a child. He even told me the names of my children. And he told me it is with your wife, yeah, me see. So I had peace. Even when there was no child in my house. But then more about that baby. To bat it on radio, bat on Emma bo, giri 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 giri. Baba ori okay today. Ogba we, one hundred and fifty days. What if I mark me omo? Iboni be okada. To bat it bere. To bat it. Akoda to no bare. To bat it bare. Be okada me. So we are baba. Olo mo we we lo lo. Ma bo. Ask my wife. Me o call only yearly. Ni no lepe. Omo, omo. In those, no, never. Because God told me I was peaceful. Ah, terrible. So do anybody li. Ya to center fish e babani no lua. Some of you are here. You have more than me as your pastor. Pastor ye po. Ma? Ma? Ten. Okay, I want it ten. Okay, then, okay, any ten. You become anxious. Ah, ah, she me kuba, ya can tit low be come on, kin uh in Lord Babakinikon, and what I can want a pretty one and me non queen, a ya lobe. I to load up Babakinikon, what I can pretty one, or won't queen see. Jesus said in Matthew twenty four, he said, Many false anointed will arise. He said, But do not be moved. We are in the last season. So, go see peace more. Boba rishi shi no lebai oni mini. Bila bala baba fu wale edemoke mala. If I don't know, awata ang beni new site. Engineer not only testify say uri shi shi colorful bala 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 wow. I'm telling you, wali bala 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 mi eru abai. Tiru yin bawa bebe ah. Efe lori oke pani yao tori la la bala bala kan wale. Daddy Mopa. Ah. Musu. But see, the Holy Ghost presence in your heart will give you peace. Do you know why he will give you peace? He will tell you things that will give you peace of mind. Let's go on. So the believer. You now notice the next one after peace is what? Patience. The patient believer we no longer trust that God will show Sure. So he will no longer be able to wait. God told me, I will give you a child. He didn't tell me when. I waited for him. Look at David's testimony now. Psalm 40 verse 1. He said, I waited patiently for the Lord. There is nobody that is, that is expecting for something from God that we don't need to wait. Ah, uh, Tokia Labini, Atoro Mbubulo, Walonu Kishikini. Kikanju. Tori pi oro lorun ko ni lo laise. 
Ah, time is long. Let's quickly finish this. After P, uh, uh, we have taken peace, uh, patience. After patience, you now know his kindness. The kind believer will suddenly become hostile. Sherry Kini Oti, come on, in Christian church. Body of Christ now. Hostile Christian. We read meaning to everything. We cannot live peacefully with anybody that is not a member of our church. In fact, even members of our church, we suspect everything. Why did he laugh? Why did he greet me? You become hostile. Look at another fruit so that you have the Holy Spirit in you. After, where are we? Kindness. You see, the good believer will become rude. Let's go to the next one. The faithful believer will no longer care about his or integrity. One of the things that marks us as believers, the fruit of the Spirit, okay, faithfulness, well, around. You now see that the faithful Christian, when the Holy Ghost has left, we have no reason to protect anything again. I always tell God, God trusts me with his name. I will not put that name on the mud. After faithfulness, what is the next thing? The gentle believer will become wayward. And the believer that will... Yes, yes. The next one, self-control. You now notice that the believer will not manifest self, that used to manifest self-control before, that knew how to say no when he sees. Now, do you know that there are some Christians, they watch porn movie on their phone now, at home. No. 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 It's a lie. Christian that can tell himself, no, I don't need this. When the Holy Ghost leaves, when he control him, oh my, binu ni bitu ya kuti binu ade faraya. I will continue to say, to no more, okay, we are king, she, I say, I will continue to say, my year, I will you. I wrote here, such Christians will begin to lose, sorry, we begin to live without respect for boundaries again. All this will happen because the Holy Spirit that was his help left. So, if you are going to weigh, your, weigh yourself by it. Weigh yourself by it. Carry your Bible every time. Go to Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Look at yourself. Which of the fruits is not yet showing in my life? Lord, help me I, in this area. Me too, I will discipline myself to walk according to this in this area. So that this fruit can show in my life. Because that is the fruit that shows that the Holy Ghost is still there. Not gift. So can you see that gift is not, is every, anybody that can have gift? I've stopped looking for the gifted. Before I used to look for gifted people, but I've stopped. You know what I need now? I need faithful people. They, are, they may not be gifted. Gifts will come. But you see those gifted professionals. They are professional healers. Professional medical workers. They invited one great man of God to preach in a church at NTC. The man said, for the anointing to move very well, they should give him two bottles of Gouda. Yes, sir. What are Gouda for? No, no, church. What are you going to do? Oh, my. What are you Yes, anointing my move. What are you going to do? Oh, you don't know. I won't mention. There is a town in Cameroon. The person that told me, that several of our faith fathers, so many faith fathers have children there. When you go to preach, part of the Nkwa Lejo, they will give you two ladies that will sleep with you. The man of God is here. Sir, your cola is waiting for you in the room. It's part of your honorarium. And after that, they will still come 
And this man of God will say, after I preach, even the Spirit of God moves more. Me, I want to make heaven. I don't know about you. That's why, live the life if you want to make heaven. I will give you this assignment. Go back home today and sit down with Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Choose it to, to weigh yourself. A lot of Christians are falling because of lack of self-control. What if you now can work there? So for me, I will pray none. I went to the mountain because people are saying, go to mountain, go to mountain. I thought there's one special thing in the mountain. And when they now introduce me to court, ah, let me go and think over it. I'll come back to give them feedback. I ran. And I told myself, there's no place I cannot meet with God. And these people are still prophesying. Don't be carried away by gifts. Some of you, you can kneel down under anybody. Don't be carried away by gifts. That somebody gets clear vision does not make him a child of God. That, that girl with the evil spirit in Acts chapter 16. The Bible says by evil spirit, he told the people, these men that are coming as servants of God. It was true. These men of God that are coming have come to preach to you the way of salvation. True. But by what spirit? Foul spirit. Some versions we call it familiar spirit. Let's close. Have you learned something today? Now be on your feet. Ah, this one that we are quiet. Okay, most of you are looking at fruits. I be gifts. Eric, she in the foil. Okay, much you want now, in the second part of this message, I ask a question. I'll take the second part of this message next week. Because I try to compress it. It cannot go in one service. That if the Holy Spirit lives a Christian's life, can he return again if the Christian genuinely repents? And the answer is yes. If the Holy Ghost leaves you and you go back to God, sincerely repent, the Holy Ghost will come back. That's as you see me. See, I don't make friends anyhow. If you say, let us pray. Pastor, can I be your friend? I want to look at your life first. As a pastor. If you don't live the life of Christ, you cannot be my friend. Because the Bible says evil communication will corrupt good manner. So if you don't care, you can kneel down that Anybody. A pastor has three wives and he's telling you, you can do roll the lori. You were not there, Kunle. Whoa, why fair lay a wood here now? Because I anointing to Jacob Fair met I oh my balie. A pastor send his wife packing. Kro at the mommy coolly. What does of my kule yang badua yeah shadow for ya and daddy alone lo baby and gone? Yeah, one call along with Komari Jimon. Ah, you won't know I lit here because I don't see my flow. You will go more with daddy lake by raw Kionu ya. Ah, daddy in Paro. I know one pastor that told me, Ah, daddy, I want Paro, daddy, I want the Lord, Pyro, out of our jerry. Crusade Talosh alone, though, or Kumelology. I became a movie. No, I'm Benny Sap. Oh, was he local? Can't you? I've got one found on Colano, along by Meta, you won't call daddy. Chess in Benny. She was in Benny, along by Larry, maybe she would just have met Anisa. What could she say? Along by town only. Was she a one man so good at him, Parody? You will not want to call us about daddy. You don't know that the anointing flows with whatsoever 
is in the servant, that person. That's how it flows. Now, look at most of our men in church. Most of our men that are husbands in this church, you will gradually see that they are behaving like me. Go and find out. Most of them, if I want to hear keep us on one call, you know, there's some, I mean, me, dispute, I want to, I want me, want me to keep pass on one call by day. Continue. Like patient Jonathan, continue. Don't let anybody lay hand on you anyhow. The Bible says, lay not thy hand by sodding on any man so that you will not partake in his sins. Follow process. Let me summarize with this. Everybody be on your feet and lolly. You know one of the reasons why some, some of you uh, used to think that it's like a, our own church. The thing is not like what we are looking for around Maybe because we don't use to shake body to prophesy. Sir? Now listen. Mommy, come. She was sharing testimony. Ah. Why English share testimony? Ah. If I turn you alone, only I want something. Yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. You want to make Paulo look in the corner? I told her that thing will have been avoided, but I'm back, but tell me. Right from day one, take this child to the hospital and on mission. If I told you one mission, let's say she was take me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Am I be known with all the man's soul? I I was working in my office, I was typesetting. And the Lord Spirit of God said, call them. And I called them. Busa order. One of the dark padas, he lay mission. Am I lost hospital by? One ah, I won't know, sir. Do you say ah? No, sir, do boy shaking. I need a man to buy. And one of one, sir, do boy one B. I say, man, one B. What's my key? I won't hear. Money cause a problem. But when it goes to 7 p.m. in the night, Papa, I boy, lewa ma ejela manri. Money ejela manri. At the very last hospital. At the very last hospital. At the very. See, we may not be prof- shaking body. But we know what we are, we are doing. Some of you like people that will deceive you. I told one of... Uh, pardon, pardon. To the camera, Mark, I told one of our, our, our brothers, his, 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 his brother, his mother was sick. He told me the case. I have read that case before in a medical book. That is cancer of the pancreas. A person can live if they remove his pancreas. As he told me, I said, go and tell your mommy to be going to UCH. What she needs is operation. Call her your pancreas. She will live normal life. If I turn the bed, one day wants to pay, you know, she alone will make a kid in a pastor. I want to leave so pay a guni or fanny. If I told her, you want to cancer, it was spread. The cancer, it was spread. Once she said, come and love UCH. She died. She died. Just like that. I know why they will believe those prophets. Because they are looking at the gifts. They are not looking at the fruits. They are close. What to the dummy or jury? Me part two message next week Sunday. Ibe Moti saw five things that you will. Okay, I just close. Time till up. Say after me, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. In whatsoever ways I've put my hands into things that make the Holy Spirit to live my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray before you ask for the Holy Ghost to come back fully. Begin to pray. Whatsoever I've put my hands into. Lord, forgive me. Begin to ask for his mercy. Begin to ask for his mercy. Begin to ask for the mercy of the Lord. Now begin to say, Holy Spirit, I invite you again. Come and take full place in my life. Take full place in my life. 
take full place in my life. Sit in my life, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I bless you today.